Good evening. I'm Don O'Shea, president of New College of Florida. New College has been a partner with the Daughters for Life Foundation for two years. Family commitments have kept me from being in Toronto at the gala tonight, but I'd like to tell you what our partnership has meant to New College. I do not, of course, need to introduce you to Dr. Abelage, but I do want you to know that he has swept all of us at New College in Sarasota and in our surrounding community off our feet with his incredible story and his humanity and energy and wisdom. Since the day he first visited in 2013, he's been an extraordinary and thoughtful spokesperson for the causes of peace and education of women. Two causes that he points out correctly are inextricably entwined. Thanks to the way in which Isildeen galvanized our community and his connections in the Middle East, we currently host seven Daughters for Life scholars from Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, Palestine, and Syria. They are all following a full four-year course of studies, and we will welcome more next year. New College is the Honors College of Florida. It's exceedingly small and selective, less than a thousand students. With such a small student body, the Daughters for Life students are highly visible. Yet they have become integral members of the campus family. They work hard, everyone knows them, they know everyone else, but they also find time to lead classroom discussions to guide new students through orientation. They have met with alumni and community members. This is important because while our partnership is founded on the premise of educating women from the Middle East, those students also educate American students, some of whom have never met someone from outside their home state let alone from across the globe. The interchanges among our American and DFL students exemplify education in its finest sense. And the DFL students are thriving. You will meet, or perhaps you've already met, Lorene, a young political scientist of extraordinary acuity and promise. I wish you could meet the others. Education changes lives, and each person whose life it changes changes others. The future of our civilization rests with the young, especially with women. We're thrilled that New College is helping a cohort of Daughters for Life scholars on their paths. We're honored to play a part in empowering young women. And we're looking forward to seeing those Daughters for Life scholars change the world. Isolding, we congratulate you tonight on the Foundation's ongoing success, and we hope to see your message continue to be heard and adopted throughout the world. We stand by you. Thank you all.